Right. So one more point about adjustments on the guitar. Obviously the changeover system doesn't apply on the single 12, but this mechanism here, this part of the changer mechanism does apply on all of them. And that particular spring there is the tension spring that holds the actual changers, the flattening sharpening changer in their, in their neutral position up against their knife edge. That is the spring that holds them against the tension of the string. Now those springs over time can become weaker. That adjustment there is made so that when your strings are at pitch you want this to just sit hard against the face because if you watch what happens with the way the changer works that little centre rod on the flattening which would be this one. this pedal is flattening isn't it uh, there's a flattening pedal okay as you can see there's a little pin that runs through there to hold the spring in place the pin is an integral part of this screw and that screw adjusts the total tension. Put it on pause. I shall take this one off just to show you what happens when you take this spring out. As you can see the flattening side of the changer is moving along here and allowing the tension of the strings to pull on it. There you go. That's the actual unit itself. That spring there goes weak. The adjustment of it is critical. The, the amount of tension that's required on it is critical. And what you do is once the strings are at pitch with this extra tight holding it against the face like so. Once the string is at pitch you flatten and sharpen the string checking that it's returning to pitch and back this off until it just returns the string just returns to pitch if you put a tuner on it and play the string and turn this until you see the string actually dropping in pitch which would be about there I, my suggestion is you give it about one and a half turns that will give you sufficient tension there to return the string to pitch but it, it won't be too hard on the pedals